All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the shop, boys. This is gonna be a different video than all my other videos. This is gonna be about my new purchase, the Lib Tech 2016 Skate Banana 10 Year Anniversary Edition. It's a lot different than their other ones. It's got this uh, yellow and green graphic kind of look on it, kind of to make it look like a banana. The other ones uh, have all this like weird lines all over it. Um, so pretty much, it's a uh, true twin tip all terrain board. Kind of designed for shredding at uh, mountain resorts and uh, fresh powder. It's uh, designed for all riders from in beginning, uh, from beginners to advanced. Um, it's a pretty flexy board, ranked somewhere between soft and medium flex. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can definitely get quite a bit of flex out of this thing. Let's take it out of its packaging for you guys. So that's the board. Um, give you a little bit more information on it. So it's uh, designed with a rocker ca camber mix, which means it's rocker. Oh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. So it is rocker in the middle and cambered out. If you guys can see, there's like a gap on this end and a gap on that end. So only the center touch and both the sides lift up it's uh so it should be good to help keep your uh tips out of the fresh powder and stuff like that help you get you to uh, float on top of the snow um yeah so it's rocker under your feet and bindings and flat to mild camber from your bindings out to the tip which gives it a very soft and jibby feel it also comes with magnet traction <laughs> let me try to show you guys that which is a LibTech exclusive. I'm pretty sure, I don't know of any other companies that use magnet traction. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the edge of the board is kind of wavy. There, you can kind of see it right there. It's kind of wavy. It's supposed to act like a serrated knife, which um, it's like a serrated edge on the side of your board in, in order to help you cut into ice. Um, and hold an edge in even in unideal conditions. Um, it starts off with light to mild serrations and it gets deeper and closer together in the center of the board. This is an overall great board for those who like to play around and do lots of presses and jibs. Uh, I feel like this would be a fun board to rip on the mountain and in the park. I can't wait until it snows around here in Ontario so I can go to Blue Mountain and give this bad boy a try. So that's it. Um, this is a 156. The other ones have a yellow back, which kind of makes it more banana-y. Um, it's a pretty cool board. I can't wait to give this thing a shot. I can't really go too much more on it because uh, I haven't read it yet. But it is made in the States, so it should be pretty good quality. It's got a centered base, which will uh, hold lots of wax really well. So this should be pretty fast board. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know.